Cornerstone family. My name is Paul Finch. I am a deacon at the church and also head of security. Um, I'm coming to you from my garage. Uh, this is a place where I just get dressed every day to go to work. And I also, um, when I come home from work, I get undressed and try to just uh, decontaminate myself from anything I may have come in contact with, with everything that is going on um, in our world today. As you all know, um, I'm, a, I'm a first responder, I'm a New Haven police sergeant, and um, I have to go to work every day. And uh, the one Bible verse that comes to mind with me having to um, go to work and just be involved in everything that's going out there is uh, James chapter one, um, and it talks about counting it all joy. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. And um, I know I'm talking about joy during this time, but uh, the one thing that we all can just remember is that we are all children of God. And uh, he tells us not to fear, uh, even though that may be hard during this time. Fear is a, is a word that many of us may use or just being anxious um, with so much unknown. But um, we must do our best to remain positive. We must do our, our best to just um, continue to encourage one another during these times. Uh, pick up a phone, call and check in on one another, FaceTime your family members, FaceTime your friends. Uh, just keep in contact, contact, checking on one another uh, during this time. If you have a moment uh, to go along with my verse is a YouTube video. It's a throwback, uh, The Winings. And there's a song that says, uh, talks about counting it all joy. Uh, I think it'll be a blessing um, to you if you have a moment to, uh, to uh, listen to it. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear God, for this day, dear God, that you have made. Dear God, during this time in our lives, dear God, we have come against a lot of unknown, dear God, with this uh, coronavirus, dear God. And Lord, we know that you are in control. And the great thing that we can all remember is that we are all children of God. And Lord, I thank you, dear God, for allowing us to have the protection that we have being children of God. Lord, I ask you, Lord, just to allow us, dear God, to just draw an eye to you during this time when we are fearful. Draw an eye to you, dear God, when we are anxious, dear God, and, and we are just not clear on what to think or what to do or how we should move, dear God, Lord. Lord, I ask you just to continue to lead us and guide us, dear God. Lord, continue to protect our households, protect our loved ones, dear God, Lord. Protect our first responders, dear God, our doctors and, and our nurses, dear God, our police officers, correctional officers, uh, paramedics, dear God, firemen, dear God, who are on the front lines dealing with this, dear God. Lord, also just protect those who are making decisions, dear God, Lord. Lord, I ask you just to uh, bring comfort to those who have lost lost loved ones during this time, dear God, and allow us, dear God, just to continue to love on one another and just encourage one another during this time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Once again, uh, Cornerstone family, um, just wanted to bring some encouragement to you all. Uh, continue to stay safe and stay healthy during this time. I love you all. Take care.